I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question based on trigonometric inverse functions. We need to find sine inverse of sine of 23 pi by 5. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's see what is uh, the inside part of it which is sine 23 pi by 5. So if you look at the coordinate plane 23 pi by 5 means what? So that means we have to divide this into 5 portions. So that is 5 pi by 5. So if you move further, it becomes 10 pi by 5, right? So, so that is 10. When it is 23, so you have to go one more circle, it becomes 20. And to get to 3, where are you placed? Well, you have to divide this pi into five equal parts. So it could be done like this. One, two, three, four, and one five. So you notice that 23 pi by five is in quadrant two. So that is 20, two circles, 1, 2, 3. So we land up here. So that is the position which is 23 pi by 5. Correct? We are in second quadrant. Now, we have to also understand when is sine inverse theta valid? So you know that sine inverse theta. Now this is valid only in which part sine inverse theta is valid in 0 to I mean this portion right minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so this is out of domain for sine inverse theta right so that's the idea you notice that sine inverse theta is valid from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 However, we are in quadrant 2. So that is why the solution of this will not be 23 pi by 5. It is going to be different. Is that clear? Now let's, so that is the basic understanding. So I hope that is absolutely clear. So what you also notice is, let's talk about sine 23 pi by 5. Now clearly this is equal to, now here what is the acute angle? Now this acute angle we can say alpha is equal to 2 pi by 3, right? Correct. So sine 23 pi by 5 is actually equal to sine 2 pi by 5. I mean 5. Correct. So, so this much. That means it is same as this point. So what you could do is you can write sine inverse of sine 23 pi by 5 as equal to sine inverse of sine 2 pi by 5. Is that clear? Now, 2 pi by 5 is actually in quadrant 1. So that is 2 pi by 5. Now, since sine inverse theta is valid between minus pi by 2, pi by 2, from here, we can write down this as equal to 2 pi by 5. Do you get the idea, right? So, so that is how you could easily solve this particular question. So, I hope you understand the concept, right? So, for a question, sine inverse of sine something, we may not get the same result as argument as shown here since it is not in the domain of inverse function. So you may have to find equivalent ratio here, right? So, so what we did here was we wrote an equivalent ratio. You can say term which is 2 pi by 5 and not 2 pi by 5 is within the domain of sine inverse theta and now we get the answer as 2 pi by 5. 
is that clear? So that is how we could actually solve such a question. I'll provide you with links for similar questions. Look into them and I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best.